This video is sponsored by CI Hub. I want to show you kind of an interesting trick for uh, for laying out your pages in InDesign that a lot of people don't realize is there. So I'll just create a new document, and this is only going to work if facing pages is turned off. So we'll turn that off, click Create, open my Pages panel here so we can see what's going on. No, no facing pages at all. Command Shift P or Control Shift P just to add a few more pages on here. And now, once I have more than one page, I can go to the Pages panel menu in the upper right corner of the Pages panel, and I'm going to turn off Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. You know, shuffle is what keeps them in order, as it were, right? So it's, it's you know, the first page, then the second page, and so on. But if I turn that off, now I can start merging my pages together. Like I can take page two and drag it up here. And I want to drag it until, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's kind of a dark bar with a little um, arrow sticking out of it. And that means put it here. And I'll drag this over until I see that, drag, that little, little arrow. Put it here, and here's another one. So I've got four pages on one spread. So that's kind of cool. All by itself, there's a tip. That's pretty cool. Uh, but, but wait, there's more. If you, let's go ahead and close this uh, pages panel now. If you choose the pages tool, the page tool, which is the third tool down in the tool panel, you have all kinds of controls over, uh, over these pages, including you can simply, let's zoom back so I can see them again. Um, you can simply drag them out wherever you want them. And so what's going on here is all of a sudden, InDesign is acting kind of like Illustrator. And these are not pages anymore. They're artboards. They're just artboards sitting out there on the pasteboard, right? So we've got, let's bring that in a little bit, zoom out so we can see this better. And you can see that you can kind of put these anywhere you want, which is kind of neat. You can also change the sizes of them. So let's zoom back in here. If I want to change the size of a page, it looks like you can just grab a corner or a side handle and drag them and um, and let go, but that doesn't work. Um, because what you need to do, InDesign is trying to save you from uh, making a mistake there. What you need to do is hold down the Option or the Alt key when you drag. Ah. And then when you let go of the mouse button, it updates. So now those are all the same size. Now, you'll notice that all four of them changed, right? which in this case is not what I wanted to do. So I'm mm -hmm. going to undo that uh, with a command or control Z. The reason they all changed is because of something up here in the control panel. It's called the liquid page rule. And this is controlling what happens when you change your page size. And we're bas it says controlled by master right now, but it's actually controlling the master when you change one of these. So I'm going to change this to off and then change my uh, page size. And you'll see it only okay. changes one. So I'll change this to off. You have to do it per page. Make a crazy size. Oops. Hold on the Option or Alt key and do this again. So each one of these is going to be uh, its own happy little page. Now you can um, come on. Having a little trouble with my with my keys. Um, you can also change these by collecting clicking on one of these, turn this off, and changing the size in other ways as well. You could type in uh, the value you want in the control panel or over in the properties panel, or you can choose something here, like I want it to be an A3, um, and you have lots of control there. Now, once you have all of these pages in different sizes, you can move them all over wherever you want. In fact, you can even overlap them. And this is, I, yeah. actually, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but I love the fact that this works. If you yeah. overlap them and then let's say put some text on here, this is insane. But um, if you put some, I just grabbed a text frame and put some text in it. Okay. If you overlap your pages and put text on it, it will show up on both pages. Like if you export this out as a PDF, you'll get a tall page with text at the top and you'll get a wide page with text on the left. Isn't that crazy? I was trying to do that the other day and uh, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Thank now you. <laughs> Here's how you do it. So anyway, that's kind of interesting. Um, the last thing you want to do, though, is oftentimes, let's go back to the page tool, uh, shift uh, P. Uh, the last thing you typically want to do is is arrange these in various ways. So what people don't realize is you can actually select all of these. I'm just shift clicking on them with the page tool. And now mm -hmm. I can move all of them. Uh, I, can, I can adjust all of them at the same time. For example, I can go up here to the control panel and say align top edges. 
So a line, ah. usually people usually think of a line for, for objects. objects. Right. But now we can align with the... Um, I with love the, that. Isn't that, that great? Is we can also yes. say, give me, distribute the spacing. So give me exactly one inch between each one of these. Six pike is between mm -hmm. each one of these. Click on that and boom. Now I know if there's exactly one inch between each artboard. So lots of cool things you artboards can do. Artboards in InDesign. Artboards in InDesign. What does this look like in the Pages panel? Well, the <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked. The Pages panel doesn't know what to make of any of this. Okay. Yeah, it's very confused. Yeah. So it's you have to bad. kind of ignore the Pages okay. panel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.